Niall, nice to see you here tonight. You're going to give the keynote speech just after uh, a break for tea here. Um, you're going to talk about the benefit of exercise, but obviously in a general view, we've heard a lot of stuff here tonight from different people about the benefit of the mind and, and the well-being of people and sports people particularly. There's been a lot of progress, which I'm sure pleases someone like you. Yeah, look, I'm delighted. Wellness is a very, very broad concept. You know, it, it takes in spiritual, emotional, physical, all of those attributes. And, you know, it's, it's, it's one, you know, it's a unified thread. And I think people underestimate the importance of wellness. And as a large organisation, I think it's incumbent upon the GE yeah, to ensure that we look it's more than just sport and more than just performance and, yeah. uh, and it's great to see these sort of initiatives and GEA themselves having an, uh, having a committee that actually looks after this it's a it's a big step forward yeah I've suggested to a few people there's a huge responsibility on the GEA because there probably isn't another sport that gets into every town and every parish in the country so the facility is there for them to enlighten people and it's a responsibility that they seem now to be taken very seriously in regard to what we're talking about yeah, that's very true. Look, obviously it's a very, very unique organisation, the fact that it penetrates every single town and parish in Ireland. And because of that, I think it does have a, it has a social responsibility. And I think they woke up to that maybe in the last decade that it wasn't just about you know, yeah. providing competitions for, for kids and young adults. And it's great to see that. And particularly for players, it's okay I'm talking about wellness for current players, but even former players yes. and people who have played at the highest level, that transition from playing at high level back to you know being a, an ordinary sort of citizen again. Yes. So they're all, it's a myriad of issues and, and they're all complex. There's no simple solution. There's, there's no one size fits all. And, and the fact that something tonight really creates awareness about it, even the, the breadth, even looking at things like concussion and sudden cardiac death, just creating awareness among yeah. people, not scaremongering, but just creating awareness. Yeah. And I suppose one of the things, and I've mentioned this to a few people, Niall as well, high profile players have come out publicly and talked about their difficulties in terms of after their playing career, and in some cases during their playing career, that's helped as well, open a few doors. Yeah, to realise that a lot of people think they're the only one. And I think when you see other players coming out, whether it's an addiction problem, whether it's a, a, a job situation, or just being able to, to, to going from the highs of playing in front of 80,000, all of a sudden yeah. back you're playing for your club or not playing at all. And they, they are very, very important issues. And it's imp very important that we do address them. Yeah. You'll have a serious message about the benefit of exercise here tonight, I'm sure, Niall. But we'd like to think now that more and more people are, are keyed into that uh, how serious they should be taking exercise how beneficial it is and all that is there still big room for improvement in that area i think huge i think it's it's one of those lifestyle I mean, if you look at the main lifestyle risk factors like stress tobacco uh, alcohol nutrition Activity seems to be because nutrition is a multi-trillion dollar industry and everyone thinks, oh, everyone can exercise. Well, that's not the case. Where if you look at the statistics, uh, they're actually very, very poor. And many of our health behaviours are adopted in childhood. And if we don't get it right there, the hardest thing in the world to do is to change your behaviour. Yeah. Look at diet. People just find it very, very difficult to do it. So my message is it's about adopting healthy behaviours, getting children on the right path. It's our job as adults to get them to 18 years of age where they, they can then make their own adult decisions. But we have a big role in getting them to that, to that place. And people in GAA who kids look up to from a very early age obviously can do that as well if they take on that responsibility. Oh, it's just huge. I mean, role models are very, very important. And I think unlike other professionals, sports like rugby or soccer where there's huge monetary rewards yeah. I think there's far more of that intimacy there's a link I mean as I always say when you go to a game in Crow Park you know either someone out there playing or someone related to them that, that's how close it is so I think it's great that you have that connection that you know people regardless of who they are they have that connection with the elite player and that, and that they're able to get knowledge from them about their experiences when they were playing as well yeah. And finally, Niall, this is the first of its type here in Donegal. Obviously, other counties have already moved down this road. You must be very well, uh, you must be very happy to see this happening in the county tonight. And obviously, your presence here tonight will clearly indicate that. Well, look, I'm delighted. I mean, the reason I'm here is I think it's a very, very important message. And I, there's no point in talking the talk if you don't walk the walk. And when I was asked, I was absolutely delighted to do it because it's, if we only affect... 20, 30 people here and they go and they change 20 or 30 other people. We've done a wonderful job here tonight. Great to see you here. Thanks right. for talking to Thank us. Thank you very much.